Hey, what's happening guys? Elton here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's still morning here in Montreal. It's yet another crappy day here in the city. Just a wonderful view I have here from my two-bedroom apartment. And uh, when I'm soliciting for donations there, I started doing that recently. So people can show their appreciation of uh, all these videos I make there and how I'm really... Uh, uh, you know, persistent and all that. Now, here's something I gotta work on, but I never work on paintings when it's dark in here. Uh, it's just harder on the eyesight, you know, since I'm visually impaired. That's one reason why I'm soliciting for do donations. I'm visually impaired, I'm bipolar. Uh, you know, I can't drive all these vehicles that I love legally, and uh, the revenue from uh, making videos has gone down. As a matter of fact, I just got paid yesterday for my YouTube partner, and it paid me just over $500. Anyway, uh, so whatever you can do, your help really uh, is appreciated. If you can do it uh, through PayPal, uh, my email is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Elton McFall, which is right here on this box. And by the way, um, before I open this, uh, one of you guys, I hope you see this video, you had called me a couple of times because you found my address online, but you didn't know which apartment I was, so it's apartment B, like Bob. So yeah, I got this uh, this package just a few minutes ago from Canada Post there, nice lady. Um, uh, and actually, before I open this, uh, yeah, here's something I got actually this year or last year. I never made a video of it. It's just a beautiful little clock locomotive, steam locomotive type. And it's this is not cheap actually. It's made of a heavy pewter type metal, which is a very heavy metal. High, one of the highest quality, like heavy like cast iron. I just wanted to show you that. I thanks again to you guys, a uh, couple there from, uh, I think you're from BC, I think, if I'm not mistaken, British Columbia here in Canada, out west. Just a neat little thing. So we'll, uh, let's stick this guy uh, over here for now. Yeah. Ads. You want ads? I got ads. Look how obscure some of these ads are. Try to find one of these cars today. Turbo Colt. Just put this on the on uh, Kijiji. Check out my Kijiji link on my retro old school homepage. Uh, you'll see it at the uh, picture at the bottom right. Look at that. Here's a '58 Cadillac ad. I had it framed on Kijiji for a long time. I figured, well, I'm going to put something else in the frame. Sometimes I do that. I just things that are framed for a long time. If they don't sell well, I just uh, whatever. Put something else. There's something I. Uh, this is a page actually from uh, one of my many books, old car books, and I'm going to cut that that Lincoln, 77 Lincoln Town Car picture because uh, my friend, you know, he went for a ride one. I'm going to frame that and sell it to him for a few bucks. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Mr. Platt, for sending me this. Um, where can I set this up just so you can see me opening it? Well, that'll, that'll do the trick. The camera's pretty light though, I don't want to knock the damn thing over. You know? Oh yeah, it's uh, quite, uh, maybe better off this way. So this guy here, from Massachusetts, oh daddy, he sent me a bunch of old car brochures and I told him I would make a video out of it. He says he's got too many of them, he would send me some. Why not? Oh, how about a knock? Look at this. It's the first time I do an unboxing, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right on. Oh, boy. You guys sent me a lot of beautiful things here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me sit down here. Ugh. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Great condition. Oh, man, you are too much. Thank you very much, Aaron. This is unreal. I can't believe it. Look at that 56 Packard Clipper brochure. Look at that. Excellent condition. The new Packard Power Story. Wow. Unreal. Such beautiful cars. It's such a shame, though, that they're one of their reasons why this company was done in was not because they could, wasn't just because they couldn't compete with the big three, but because they're just, their quality really, uh, Dropped, especially with the transmit with the automatic transmissions. Look at this. Little folded. Oh my. Yeah. Look at that. One year later, 57. Shit, that's too bad. I ain't got a little bent. 
that's really too bad. It was actually, looks like it was in perfect condition. Anyway, whatever. Oh, wow. Mm. You know, perfect shit day today out there to once again to look through this. <gasps> oh my god, isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Unreal. If a woman owned a car like this and it was this color, it's definitely well to do. Definitely not on the poor, right? Eh? If a guy owned a car like that uh, with those colors, yeah, he might have been fruity, but I don't, I don't know how many guys would have the guts to do that in the 50s. Especially considering most cars back then were blue or white or gray even. Look at that, isn't that stunning artwork? Thank you very much, Aaron. I don't know, I've got a feeling I'm going to keep thanking you and thanking you. I'm a very thankful person. By the way, Studebaker in 57 um, had merged with Packard. It didn't do them any good after 58, they went out of business. Yeah, it's a shame I got fucking bent up like this. And it's because of the uh, it's because of the the weight all shifted in the box. Well, anyway, at least it's still all there. It's not it's not ripped or anything. So, wow, I got fun looking through some of these. What else did you send me here? Ooh, yeah, you seem to know I love Caprices. Hey, oh, look at this shit. Caprice Classics V6 versus V8. What is this? An article? Oh, it's an article. Ooh. Here's a 71, 71 Chevrolet cab. Oh, you sent me a taxi brochure? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh my God. You're as impressing me as my friend Randy in Michigan, who sends me a ton of vintage ads that I trade with him. No way. You know, these, here, here like in a lot of cities here in, in Montreal, uh, Chevy still sold specific, very well as taxis. And uh, we here in Canada, we still had a Biscayne. <clears throat> Uh, but this is probably a Bel Air. Oh no, it is a Biscayne. Yeah, there was still a Biscayne. Unless this is a Canadian brochure. Yeah, it could be. Oh, that is so cool. That's fucking cool, man. Oh. Man, that's rare. I can't believe you sent me this. Available only in Biscayne Mall. Wow. No, it's American. I think this was the last year for the Biscayne in the States was 72. Yeah, I know the Be the Bel Air in Canada continued in 80 in Canada up until 80 or 81. Look at that, 72 Chevy brochure. Oh my God. Wow. It's funny, I thought you were going to send me like, you know, mostly 50s brochures, but no, no, I'm impressed. We have the same tastes in cars and these earth killing gas guzzling boats. <sighs> Uh, well, how was I born so late? You know, more than ever, <clears throat> sometimes I, I feel like compelled to make a video about how I was born too late, what it's like being old school today, <clears throat> how it's great in a lot of reasons, and it's really fucking shite in a lot of different reasons. I got 74. Hear that siren? Look at that. Paul. No, Bel Air, excuse me. Bel Air. Wow. Coming up my street. And of course, I'm, in the, I'm not in the living room. Go figure. You know, get a little uh, bonus. Would have been more fitting, I think, if I was looking at a fire chief uh, Impala or something. Traveling guide. <clears throat> Look at that illustration. Is that amazing or what? It's like the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, something like that. Wow. Look at this, eh? Oh, shit. <clears throat> wow. Hmm. Suburban. Or as Andrew would say, <clears throat> suburban. I got a feeling, my friend, you've been collecting brochures since you were a kid. Eh? You probably used to go get them at your yearly car show, I guess. Maybe not. But usually that's the case. Look at that. This was cool. This is like, oh, wow, that's fucking cool. See, that, that alone, what I would do, I could do that two ways. 
I would page, I would like take this apart, cut the pages out carefully, and 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 frame this together, or even like frame the two separately in eleven by four. Oh my God, there's so many things I could do with that. And I, I would do it too. Look at this again, amazing. And I would do it again too because when you get into like the seventies and up, the brochures aren't worth that much, you know, unless it's certain cars. Like, you know, luxury cars, Cadillac, Lincoln, and other things that don't go, go up. Oh my God, look at this. Are you kidding me? What? This is just Chevrolet. Well, I don't think I'm going to film the whole damn thing here because he sent me tons of stuff. Oh, Aaron, thank you very much. I, I am, uh, I feel truly blessed when I receive stuff like this. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, look at this. Malibu 9C1. Holy shit. You know, we had some of these here in Montreal. But, uh, it didn't last. It didn't last very long. I think they only ordered them like two years. Maybe like 81, 82. Oh, this is really something else. Now, mind you, anything that's like not the usual line of brochures, I figure, I figure they're probably worth more. You know, taxi cab brochures and police stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that, eh? You know, this would be great too. also, dude, because, uh, Aaron, I don't know, you're probably not a dude, but, dude, but anyway, uh, what's great about all these brochures as well is, uh, you know, if ever I want to do a nice drawing or painting of an Impala or Caprice, I won't have to refer to my computer screen. I could even do, you know, draw it out here. This is fantastic. Oh, I love that two-tone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love that two-tone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, Impala. Mm, hey, try to find an Impala wagon like this today. That's stock. Good luck. More likely to find one in Europe. Oh my god, I love that two-tone. <gasps> I love it. One of the things I was thinking about recently about the, the uh, 80 Caprice and up, the body they made until 90 was that, you know, it, although 77 and 79 is almost the same thing, it's not exactly the same thing. There was... One of the things that was different about it is that they got rid of the crease. You know, there was this really nice crease throughout the front and back here. Same as on the uh, Firebird and Trans Am. They stopped making that. I got a feeling it's because it costs too much for them to do it. I'm going to look at all that later. Wow. Let's just see what else here you got here. Oh, my God. Look at this. You got, like, every Caprice fucking brochure imaginable. Look at this. Malibu. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. You send me any Cadillac stuff or like Pontiac? Oh my god, look at this. What is this? GM put this out? No way. Look at that. Oh, it's a 7. Oh my god, look how rare this is. A Catalina fucking safari wagon. Speaking of rare. Holy shit, try to find one of those. <whistles> look at that safari wagon. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, look at that. It's the whole line of Le Mans. Oh my god. Oof. Fantastic. You know, this is one of the nicest gifts I've ever gotten. I mean, really? Man, you just made my day, my friend. Seriously? I mean, it's been, like, fucking cloudy for a week now, exactly. There hasn't been any sun. And it's been tough. Not Obviously, not just on me, but a lot of people. See what I mean? Look, 77. See, they had that crease in the body. It was really cool. And uh, they... Uh, let me just see if there's another shot. Yeah, there we go again. Look at that. Bonneville. The Patty's Yen here in Canada. Exactly the same. And I remember even uh, uh, doing a video of one. It was a 78 or 79, exactly the same two-tone. What a beautiful car. Wow. Oh, man. I, I uh, really impressed, man. Seriously. Wow. Oh, my God. Pontiac Parisienne. The Pontiac Parisienne surrounds you. Speaking of the Parisienne, so this must be 85 or 86. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, a party was in a wagon. Where's the year? Oh shit, there's no year on this thing. Oh, there it is, 86. Wow. Oh, what a trip, man. Yeah, the Patty's Yen is a weird, especially weird in the States in these years because it wasn't, they wasn't, they didn't plan on selling these in the States because when the, when the Bonneville was downsized into the, um, into the uh, the Malibu platform, the size of the Malibu, you know, from the Le Mans, it didn't uh, bode very well in the States. So they like, 
decided to, to sell the, uh, you know, they kept making the Parisienne the same way as the Bonneville before, so they just started to, to like, well, we're going to make it like that, and uh, keep making it like that, and oh my god, and, and sell it in the States. Oh my god. Dude, I'm blown away. This is amazing. Fuck, I mean, this is a valuable collection. Look at this. Holy shit, Adam 12, Adam 12, come in, Adam 12. Matador Cab. Matador Fairmaster Taxi. Holy mackerel. Outstanding. Well, I'm going to stop here because this goes on and on. Holy shit, 75 limit police cars. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of the stuff you send me is probably doubles, eh? I would imagine you have. Grand Fury Police Pursuit, eh? We had these in Montreal as well. Too bad I was born at that year just to... Hey, look at that. Just like my friend's old fucking Fury. Look at that. And I haven't seen that car in a long time. I wonder what happened to him. I saw his guy drive by one, you know, one time though recently at the... Uh, well, I was train spotting at the railroad crossing, but I don't know, it was rush hour and he was rushing home and he didn't, uh, he didn't see me. Oh, just a little, like an index card, eh, I guess, sort of thing. Oh. Oh. Holy shit, you know what? I have a, fr I know somebody who has the exact same card, man. Really nice guy. I can't remember his name though, him and his girlfriend, really nice people, look at that, exactly the same, same color, except he's got the mags on it. Because oh, what is this, you sent me an ad, it's funny because I have this ad, do I? Alright guys, well, anyway, I, uh, I, look at this, this goes on and on, unbelievable, look at this, more taxis. Taxi package, 1989, Fort Crown Victoria, get out of here. God damn, that's cool. Unbelievable. The golden age of motoring, eh? Even going back not even, th just about 30 years or less even. Because when Ford stopped making these cars this way with the metal chrome bumpers and all the squareness in 91, you know, same thing with the Chevy equivalent, well, it really marked the end of an era, you know? Let me just see something here. Does it say anything about motors? Yeah, 302, 5 liter. They even get you the, the estimated miles per gallon. 24 miles per gallon on the highway. Woo! Wow. Unreal. All right, guys. Well, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, very cool stuff. And, jeez, uh, uh, thank you very much. I mean, I expected some cool stuff, but that really, I mean, especially these rare police and taxi brochures, I, didn't, uh, I really didn't expect that. I'm like, Wow, I, I mean, all this from, from, from making videos, I mean, um, wow, it's just terrific, and uh, thank you very much, I even just noticed the shipping cost, it wasn't cheap either, so, wow, talk about spreading the joy, so I'm going to continue enjoying myself looking at this stuff, and um, yeah, take care everybody, especially you Aaron, that's really uh, outstanding, um, yeah, I, it just fuels my passion for old cars all the more. All the more. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.